I'm back. It's edited now. Everything's great. Okay, so what I'm going to be talking about today is the components of the Riemann curvature tensor. Okay, so what we do is we say um, Riemannian curvature of some covector field and then vector field z y x is going to be equal to that covector field applied to the covariant derivative along x of the covariant derivative along y of z and then pull a minus the covariant along y the covariant along x to z and then minus the covariant along the commutator x y applied to z here i'm using the definition that the commutator of x y is equal to x applied on y minus y applied on x okay so for example del i del j commutator is going to be equal to del i applied on del j minus del j applied on del i and as you know <laughs> other notation this we know that these two are equal so this entire thing becomes zero so that means that Riemannian that Riemannian i j k m okay i for that j for that k for that m for that is going to be equal to Riemannian of del of uh, d x i del j del k del m okay which is going to be equal to j um, this turns out to be zero so that this entire thing goes to zero and remember that we're applying dx i to this entire thing which is going to be equal to dx i of okay now let's evaluate some of these things covariant along m of now we're gonna have del n times gamma superscript n then we're going to do sub jk and then that's going to be minus covariant along k of del n times gamma n and this time jm and that's just straight from a uh, covariant derivative or connection and then that's going to be dxi applied onto I'm gonna go down okay so it's going to be applied onto um, right here we use the product rule so this is going to be covariant along m of del n times gamma n j k plus del n times covariant along m of gamma n j k this is the Leibniz rule okay so this is going to be equal to dx i applied to right there that's just simply going to be del r times gamma r n m times gamma n j k this one right here is going to be del then we're going to have um del n times and we derive it we just apply it because gamma n j k is a function it's going to be del m applied on this okay
And then we apply this to all of those so that I get delta IR right there, delta IN, uh, delta IR. Then right here I get delta IN. Okay, and so in finale we get gamma I N M times gamma N J K plus I'm gonna move this one over here so minus gamma I N K times gamma N J M and plus gamma that n goes to an i and j k comma m and then minus gamma that's also an i j m comma k okay so that's it uh, that's the derivation uh right there are the components Kind of difficult to derive, I guess. This video, not very important, but I did it anyway. <laughs> okay, that's it.